We're at the Amsterdam Whitney Gallery. We were with the, with the ambassador himself. Do you have a few words for us? Yes, good evening, folks. This is His Excellency Ambassador Dr. Amsterdam, the third co-owner of Amsterdam Whitney Gallery. Welcome, happy August and happy summer. We're all assembled here tonight in Amsterdam Whitney Gallery for our award-winning Chelsea Global Showcase Exhibition. 1,000 entrants from all over the world. Only 30 museum caliber, museum form, contemporary master artists were selected. Some of the finest artists in the world. Multiple mediums, genres, they're really superb. And I'm gonna turn everything over to my beautiful wife, who's going to take it from here. Ruthie Tucker, she's the owner, executive director and curator of Amsterdam Whitney Gallery. I pass on to my better half, please. Good evening, and I'd like to thank Crystal Hart so much. And welcome, Crystal, to Amsterdam Whitney Gallery's Chelsea Global Showcase award-winning exhibition. Amsterdam Whitney Gallery is located on 25th Street between 10th and 11th Avenue in the epicenter of Chelsea, the international art district of the world. We're with Joyce Bailey. Now, Joyce, where are you from? I'm from Estero, Florida. That's between Naples and Fort Myers, for those who are not up on their geography. Tell us about uh, this painting. What's its name? This is called Avant Garden. And it is a study of the bleeding heart vine, which is very popular in this country, in the southern areas of this country. And the way I explain what the, what the bleeding heart vine, tell, tell me a little bit about bleeding that. Bleeding heart vine, uh, it's, a, it's a multiple blossom that drops down a lot of flowers. And this doesn't look like it at all. It just inspired an abstract version of it to entertain my collectors who are the most important people in my business. And what I wanted to show you is that I work with transparencies. I try to build up from the background. I start in the background and I build up layers and layers of paint. Very thin, it's called glazing. And this gives the painting a luminosity because the light is trapped in those layers. But you have to be very careful the paintings take a long time because you have to let them dry between layers, all right? And you see that big form up in the upper right-hand corner? That's the dominant form in the painting. This is a smaller version of that. And that one is getting a lot of light. You can see the lights reflected off of it. It has shadow underneath. And here, the light is coming through. It's the same form, smaller size. The light is coming through. So it distorts the magenta color to an orange, you see? So there's a lot of vibrancy and a lot of interplay among the forms in the painting. So that's what I want the viewer to see. I want them to enjoy the painting. And this is a type of painting that hugs you every day. <laughs> it's a virtual hug. People, people like the colors, but they also like the interplay of the forms. You see here the small forms, they're aspiring to this size, you see? And they're still in the shadow, they're still reaching out for life, but they all contribute to the life of the painting. And just as a little fanfare at the top of the painting, I put in some uh, seed pods. They're little seed pods, like they have fur on them, they're different texture, they move in the woods and in the wind. And you see the highlight is on the top and not the bottom. So that means the light is coming down, flooding over the top of these very soft seed pods. Light's very important to you. Absolutely, because that changes the color. And this painting, I'll guarantee, changes with the light. When you see it in the morning, it has one aspect. By midday, it has another aspect. And then at night, you have another surprise. And at Amsterdam Whitney, we have a, <laughs> a yeah. whole new aspect. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Krista. You're just great.